Morning everybody, it's Terry at Rome for Rockers again. Um, we're going to do some sort of free easy <coughs> slide licks so that you can practice and we've got our free workshop at the school in July, July the 8th, I think we put it down for, but check the web website romforrockers.co.uk. We've got our Kalamazoo guitar again and we've got it tuned to open G. <coughs> now, if you're going to do any slides, you've really got to get used to doing open tunings. Let's go from the top bass string down to the bottom. And what we've got, we've got D. D. So we've tuned our top string from E down to D. Then we've got G. That string's down as well. That's G. And we've got D again. First string down, D. And then we've got G, which is tuned to normally. And then we've got B. And then we've got D again. So I'll run through that again. We've got D, G, D. G, B, Okay, now you should be able to do that with a chromatic guitar tuner without any trouble. It's something you're going to have to get used to. Most people that want to do this have probably got some old guitar, acoustic guitar that they use for slide and they'll have it detuned. Good idea to do that. It doesn't have to be a brilliant one, but you know, if you don't want to be tuning your Taylor £2,000 guitar down every time. Um, but you can do, it's, it shouldn't cause any problems as long as your strings are okay. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to do just free licks for you to practice, free easy ones just to get you started and then we'll use the same ones in the workshop to add to some more complicated things that are some sort of 12 bar blues type pieces. Right, first thing we're going to do, really classic, is we're just going to play our second string down and our bottom two strings. So I'm going to get this. And then we're going to get our slide, and we're going to slide from about fret 10 up to fret 12 on the bottom two strings. So we're going to do, I'll do this slowly. So we're going to get this sort of sound. Now try not, you've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But you only hit the bass string. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you only hit the bass strings on the, on the number one. So it's one, one, one. So I'll do that again. One, one. First lick, really sort of, you'd have heard that on a lot of stuff. Okay, the second lick, we're just going to go open. We're going to play our open G string. So we're going to hit open G, then we're going to hit that G string, the second string down, and that G string. hit that as an octave, so we're going to hit the second string down, the fourth string down basically. Single string, single G, and then your two G strings together, sliding from about fret two, and then the two open strings again. licks, we're doing the 12th fret, okay, really nice and easy. Let's look at an intro, this one's a bit useful, it's gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to hit 
fourth string, third, second, and bottom string. We're going to fret one on the B string and two on the G string. And we're just going to pick those four strings. Bottom four strings. We're going to go like this. standard tuning, we just chucked on a C, open G and G, now we're doing a Robert Johnson type turn around in. what I've got there is I've got 10 on our second string down and 8 on our B string. Play the B string twice. Then I've moved down to nine on our second string down. So it's then eight. I've kept finger one on eight B all the time, so I've done. Then I've hit D string, second D string down, one, two, three strings down. And after just hit open G, just need to fret five for the two G strings, six, seven. And then I've just chucked in the bottom string. Okay. Have a look gap. Let's do another one. This one sounds great. What I've got there is I've barred the two bottom strings. So the B and D string are barred, the finger one, and I've got finger three on fret five. And then I'm going to hit the second string now, which is our G string, G bass string. two string, oh you can hit the open G for those two together. Finger three off, so you've got two and two. Finger three back on again. Open G. And then the same job we did the first lick really, we hit the the two to get the off That's the third fret. Okay, now what you'll have to do is just some simple ideas. You will have to practice them to get the sound. I mean it's not easy to get. You can get all sorts of horrible things going on. So you really are going to have to practice this. This is why I've done these little exercises to get you in. Especially with this one. It's so, it's so easy to get that out of tune. You've really got to Practice getting it in shape. The other thing is try and keep the slide vertical because if you haven't, you can actually tune that's horrid like that. But if you straighten it up, it actually goes in tune better. Okay, everybody, that's that's a starter. We'll hopefully put some more up. Thank you very much. Bye.